everybody, it's your girl QNY Simmer and welcome to my channel. It feels so good to be back. I swear, I feel like I was gonna literally go crazy. Basically, my computer gave up on me. Yada, 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 y'all don't care about that. Today, I'm bringing y'all a world freaking tour. We're in Times Square right now. I'm gonna be showing y'all how I make my worlds realistic. I wanna show y'all everything that I worked on and also show y'all how y'all can get realistic worlds as well and don't even have to spend a whole bunch of money. Yes, I love this freaking build right here. We got a freaking New York City bus. I'm not gonna show y'all every single thing. You already know we got the classic red stairs from Times Square. And then, you know, we got some billboards popping off, the taxis. I was able to achieve this thanks to an amazing creator called SimStream. So yes, all her stuff for the most part is free from what I've been seeing. So all you have to do is search SimStream and yeah, that's who built this Times Square. But I did add a little alpha touch to it. You already know I'm generally an alpha person, but that just shows how freaking amazing that she is because I downloaded it completely Max's match, but she is freaking amazing. So I added some more buildings and stuff in the background. I added some billboards. Um, I added these red stairs and everything. I added some more billboards down there. The city buses are mine. And all of the freaking vehicles and stuff that you see are also added as well so, yeah and this is only one portion of the video this video might be lengthy because I have a lot of different areas to show and I still won't be able to do full full in depth but I'm just glad to be back y'all and yes I will be doing another episode of love or lust I actually started on it already but that was before my last computer broke so I basically have to just continue but I have the intro so everything's fine sorry I'm talking so fast I miss doing this y'all y'all just don't understand anyway what's up up. I'm sorry but we about to get up out of Times Square very very soon I'm gonna make this a movie theater um I'm about to add like a little mini clubs maybe a few coffee shops and stuff like a little Starbucks this is a residential type of lot but I'm thinking about doing like a music store I'm just really freaking excited but anyway this is not about me I'm just trying to show y'all also how y'all can you know do the damn doom I don't know where I want to go next um we'll see we in Brooklyn y'all oh my gosh okay so this is my little Brooklyn. My favorite thing ever is the freaking tool mod. This is how I achieve putting the trees that I want. I also have default replacements for my trees. So all of my trees, and I think all of my plants as well, have a, a, a replacement except for these freaking bushes. This is totally, I think, Max's match if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, all of my freaking trees are override. It really just helps add realism. It just helps instead of having like a cartoony look unless, you know, you're going for that. But if you were, then why are you here? Things. This is like an apartment complex and everything. Make stuff a little bit dirty. Everything doesn't have to be super, super, super pretty. And I'm gonna also show y'all how to use the tool mod. Just in case y'all don't know, it's gonna be brief, it's gonna be quick, and it's super easy. I actually thought it was gonna be difficult, but it's not. If you want city objects, I recommend Around The Sims 4. Um, their stuff is free for the most part. Everything that I've ever downloaded from them is free, so. Over here we got this freaking Starbucks and everything. We have, you know, just a few. These are mostly decorative, but some of these are functional as well. And if you want cars and everything, you need to add some cars. Add some real cars. If you want them to go off the lot, I'm going to show y'all all of that. So stay tuned and make sure that you're sticking with it. Grab your snacks. This amazing lot is by Black Mojitos. I edited a few things, changed some things around. But other than that, this is mostly her. She's freaking amazing if you want some, you know, city type of things. Yeah, it's really amazing how much detail and how much effort that she puts into it to make it look as realistic as possible. Like, look at that, y'all. Look at the freaking taxis. Look how she has, like, the traffic. Like, it's really jammed. It's just giving vibes. Okay, so right here is this sports bar that I made. It's not fancy, it's not like, you know, super, super fancy, but it's just a really cool spot if you do want something functional to be there. You can actually add things inside the building that's already ugly. Townies in here, I'm still not done with my townies and stuff, but yeah, so we got this little functional basketball thing that they can play basketball in. I got this Skyrim override of the original um, arcade games that come with the base game. My turtle just dived, I apologize. So as we further progress, there's a basketball court that I added outside along with this Frida Kahlo artwork, which I thought was so, I don't know, it's just it's just giving. It's giving, oh, make sure you ain't running from the popo or nothing like that. And I also got this override for the McDonald's stand. It's an override for the regular food stalls that come with the EA version as well. And then we have this bicycle shop where it can sell stuff in their inventory. So it's kind of like a mobile pawn shop over here we got this little you know area where you can sit down and eat your mcdonald's and stuff so yeah mobile mcdonald's i just thought it was pretty dope <laughs> all right so i'm gonna actually before i progress to any other worlds i'm gonna
want to show y'all how y'all can, you know, just fiddle around with the tool mod and how simple and easy this shit is if y'all have not used it. If y'all have not used it, y'all are missing out. Alright, so what you're going to do is you're going to go in build mode. You're going to, I'm going to just show y'all how to move something simple like a tree or something. So we're going to go ahead and grab this tree right here. It doesn't really matter. We're going to plop it down. Then we're going to go back in game. Ignore my sim woohooing in the corner. I just wanted to send her away and my teleporter mod is acting like a freaking dumbass. So let's go ahead and... Um, almost press wicked, I promise to God. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna shift and you're gonna left click on your mouse. Why the freak it don't wanna work? What the freak? Why are you making me look stupid, huh? Oh, I know why. Because you are stupid. Sorry. It's because she was, she's busy. Okay. So you're gonna, um, you're gonna shift and then you're gonna left click on your mouse. You're gonna press the tool and then you're gonna toggle active object. And then once you toggle the active object, you can pretty much move it wherever you want to. So let's say I want the tree to go over here. You're going to just click it again and boom, it places it. Now, my version is not even an updated version. The new version, you can actually use the tool mod in build mode. So it's even better. It's freaking amazing. I love it. That's how you can place bus stops wherever you want. I place this little Chevy thingy over here. Um, the graffiti on the walls these signs wasn't there like i just like to add different things oh these benches wasn't here this little fountain area these benches and everything are brand new this little exercise area also added you know just in case we have some fitness sims i don't know who the fuck is trying to talk while i'm trying to talk anyway just in case you want to have like a little fitness class and everything outdoor fitness class i just thought that was super cute and um yeah we're just gonna pretend that it runs on solar power okay don't question why it doesn't have any cords okay it runs on solar so yeah we got another food stall over here and this area i added some more graffiti right here freestyle music um some art um this little benches tables these food stalls was already here and i added another mcdonald's one just to, I had to put a little bit of alpha up in there, a little bit of alpha sperm, a little alpha semen. Okay, I don't know, there's a gold woman right there. I don't, I don't understand that. But anyway, I added another freaking pawn shop, mobile pawn shop. So I just thought it would be cool to add different elements that so that, you know, your Sims could do more stuff when they're out and about in the city. Like this little DJ-ish area I thought was cool. And I added some, um, some freaking water balloons for, you know, little kids that want to throw water balloons right when people trying to eat. And... I don't know y'all it's just it's just build your city build your city it, it, it'll pay off trust me i'm gonna show y'all where to get some really realistic builds from some of y'all probably already know but just in case i can put y'all on to some extra stuff okay so now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna leave out of this world because that's all i had to show you with that one and now that you know how to use the tool mod i'm gonna show you some more of my tricks in order to get a very very realistic looking city <laughs> Now we're in another portion of another freaking part. This is New Crest. We're in New Crest now. And yeah, New Crest does not look like New Crest anymore, okay? We're not in Kansas anymore. The subway station takes you to underground. It actually is functional. It does work. And it's, it's just a vibe, y'all. I know I keep saying that. So I used the tool mod in order to elevate the train on top of this um, bridge thingy, this, the train tracks, basically. I used the tool mod to do that. So you can actually elevate objects. You can um, rotate objects. This is how people alter stuff. I got this soul food truck on here over here. So I do add a lot of things, even if I download stuff. I like to add a little bit of extra elements to make it more oh we inside of the thing okay <laughs> to make it more realistic section so these buildings across the street are by black mojitos both of them um i added a few more things what's up dude how you doing <laughs> yeah so i just ah i love it this hood block i believe is by i am princess crouton but if i'm wrong i will correct it on the screen right here we have this beauty supply store that you can go inside of and you know get your products get your edges your edge control everything snatched get you some tracks some braid in here and over here we have a barber shop i'm not gonna take out inside of every single thing but i will show y'all a little bit a little clip okay okay so deco sims also help stuff look more realistic some people don't like them i don't like them sometimes but i still use them <laughs> so yeah deco sims help you can get some from ims if i know any more i'll put it up on the screen and okay so we're just gonna go in here and show where all of my dudes get their fresh haircuts Okay, so we got some, you know, some urban artwork right here and magazines for them to read, a little area. It's like, it's giving that grungy look, it's giving a grungy look for me, but I like, I really like it, okay? So it's like a jazzy vibe, a grungy vibe, and I'm totally here for it. So that's pretty much it. I mean, it's just like a little hood barber shop. All these cars that you see right here was used with the tool mod. You just park it in the street. Um, I'm gonna show y'all that 
in a few, not right now. I'm gonna go to a different area and then I'll show y'all how to put these cars in the street. It's pretty much the same. You just gotta make sure. It's kind of like actually driving. You gotta make sure that the car is in the right spot. But yeah, you, you have to do this in order to make stuff look realistic as well. I have, I have another part to show y'all, okay? Coming up right now. My sim is sniffing the concrete, but we're just gonna ignore that because we're in a separate part of the city. You're not gonna mess up my tour, okay, Missy? Go keep sniffing the concrete, all right? Hopefully you get some dust crumbs up your nose. Okay, so I got this checkers from I Am Princess Crouton, and we're in a new area. Um, same thing, pretty much. It's pretty much the same, okay? You just gotta put a whole bunch of cards. You put a whole bunch of trees and stuff to fill it up. You get you some realistic builds for... Well, actually, I got this on her Patreon, and it's totally worth it. She makes a whole bunch of stuff, all different types of things. I think she's working on a, a Goodwill right now, if I'm not mistaken. So she does diverse things. It's not just restaurants. Um, and they're very realistic and amazing. <laughs> okay. Oh. <laughs> excuse me? I know. Um, excuse me. Okay, so as we progress, oh, wait, we got another McDonald's right here. This is like a really hood ghetto McDonald's. I'm sorry, this freaking thing is too slow. Hold on. <laughs> so yeah, over here we got these parking signs. And yeah, this is like just a whole separate area right here. We got a liquor store. And I also had to do this. Y'all already know I had to freaking put a woohoo shop. I had to. So let me show y'all that. So since my old woohoo shop is not on my game right now, I decided to just do like a little city type of woohoo shop, you know, with all of the freaking LED signs and everything going on right here so that they can get all freaky deaky up in the sheets. And um, right here is this freaking bodega. Bodegas are so freaking small. Anybody that's from New York knows that bodegas are really, really small. But yeah, this actually is already owned by one of my Sims. <laughs> It's just the whole thing. I'm just ignore the woohoo. Just ignore the woohoo in the background. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna give y'all like a little brief tour of what's inside. Okay, well this is kind of embarrassing. I actually can't take y'all inside since somebody else owns it. They won't freaking let me show y'all the insides. But you can kind of already see what's going on. You know, I got all my critical stuff and everything. I made sure that was backed up. Got these cages and everything. If y'all watch my old OnlyFans episodes, then y'all already seen some of these items. But they still ain't seen everything because I got a lot more than this. This is all I could fit inside the shop, <laughs> basically. So, yeah, I just, I like adding different elements of things that are in real life. I know some people are not really into dirtying up the freaking Sims 4, but I'm all here for it. Okay, so now we're in Oasis Springs. Um, Yeah, I used to already have a Fendi slash Louis Vuitton store, but, it got deleted, so I decided to remake it. The inside is not done yet. Don't judge me, please. If y'all really in the mood for like a sweet treat, you can head over to Sweet Delights um, Milk Lab. I don't remember the creator. I will put the creator up on the screen for sure. But yeah, this is like a really cute shop that I saw on Sierra the Simmers channel, and I just thought it was so freaking cute. Like I needed this on my game. I'm freaking obsessed with ice cream in real life, and I would probably eat this entire freaking store. So right here we have this um, nightclub called heaven i might change the name i was just really i ain't gonna lie y'all i was really just looking for a freaking sign to put up there because it didn't have a sign i downloaded this off of the gallery um i just thought the roof was super cool like i have never seen a roof like this it's just it's really pretty it's like a neon vibe and i'm always obsessed with like a neon cyber type of vibe <laughs> And I just thought it would really be nice to add to the neighborhood, especially since one of my clubs that I built ended up getting deleted. So this is just like a really, really pretty nightclub for your Sims. Oh, not them closing the door in my face. For your Sims to get groove on, you know, be twerking and, you know, just have a good time. Look how gorgeous this is, y'all. Oh my God, the lasers are on point. We got the freaking DJ. Okay. We've been sick, Nicole. Hey, what? Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> so, yeah, this still has some Maxis elements to it. I did not add any freaking custom content at all to this except for outside. So, I probably just changed the furniture. Oh, I gotta fi finish that wall. I probably just changed the furniture. My Sim is over here walking off. I guess she has to use the bathroom. But I'm sorry, girl. You're getting dragged all around the world today. So, you might as well get over it, you freaking... I'm trying to uh, stop cursing, so I apologize. Okay. <laughs> Um, so yeah, keep doing your thing, DJ man, because we about to be out this piece. So that's my part of Oasis Springs. And, oh, okay.
Okay, so now we're in Willow Creek, this little shopping area, you know, that used to have the freaking library and the freaking museum and all the stuff that I, I personally could care less about. <laughs> so I decided to put this down instead. So we have a GameStop that's functioning. All of this, this whole thing is functioning as a retail lot. Starbucks coffee. We got a freaking Marshalls for people to shop for clothes and all types of stuff. We got these, these women getting stuff out the trunk of their car. Like, I just find it really cool. Then over here, we have the Sorella Boutique by Sierra the Simmer. I'm obsessed with this. Okay, so we're actually inside the shop right now. This is Melody. Everybody hates Melody, okay? Okay, this, you don't even have to question why, but if you are questioning why, then go check out my freaking uh, Let's Play. And yes, I am bringing it back, I, I know. It must be very annoying. I'm sorry, I, it's, it's not my fault, I promise. Okay, so I really love this. This shop is really cute, this boutique. I'm obsessed. I just might make Angel buy this, not even gonna lie. Then right next door, we have a Popeyes. Y'all have seen this one before, but I did add some things. I just added some trees. I added some more cars. Um, yeah, this is by, I, I don't, I ain't gonna lie. I don't even freaking, it's MJMXMS or something like that. But I will put it up on the screen. I'll be linking all of these lots in the description of this video. So make sure before y'all ask me that just, just check out the description. Because I got y'all, I got y'all, all right? So over here, we have this McDonald's that I decided to put. I also have a Dunkin' Donuts. I'm just, I'm getting into it. I'm getting into adding a whole, whole lot of stuff to my game because I really want to fill my world up. We not even gonna check out that other side. Yeah, we just go ignore that other side. I hate that you cannot do the other side. So I added this bus stop as well. So, you know, just in case they need to get picked up because they ain't got no Uber and they ain't got no car. So that's okay, too, <laughs> okay? So that's this little area right here. It's like a little shopping slash eating area. I like to mix both together. That's another thing to make your game more realistic. You want to do a mixture of shopping slash restaurants, you know. So now I'm going to take y'all over to a regular suburban area. And that's going to be our final destination. Shout out to the movie though. I'm going to show y'all how to move the freaking cars and you know the elevate items and you know all of that jazz. All right, let's get up out of here. Now we have pulled up to the champion's house. Yes, I have changed a few things about their house. Not going to lie. Um, not a whole lot, but yeah, this is just a regular suburban area, but it still has that realistic element, you know? We got the basketball hoop and everything, we got the trees popping off, we got the realistic textures. If y'all want some realistic wall textures and floor textures, check out Praline Sims because they have really, really bomb wall textures to make your houses and bring them to a whole nother level, you know? So yeah, that's that. I also have some more cars, some area cars. Um, I decided to put the trash cans outside, you know, when trash day comes around, we got some scrapped up boxes. You know, moving boxes that they still ain't throwing out because they still kind of new to the area, <laughs> okay? And we got this house right here. You know, it's still things that I want to add. But for now, I just thought this was a pretty good startup. So let me go ahead and show y'all how to get the cars in the street. And it's the same thing. It's pretty much the same thing as anything else. Uh, I can see them. I can see them through the house. Hey, what's up? How y'all do? Hold up. I know this is not a part of the thing. I apologize. What's up, Angel? What's up? Oh, my God. Oh, Okay. Not Khalil making noise. Okay, we just gone. We're gonna go with that. All right, so this house looks really realistic though. Also use some terrain, terrain instead of this grass right here, which I freaking wish that I could get a default replacement for the grass. It's so much better looking to me. Like it's just so realistic. Um, it just gives your house that vibe of less cartoon and, and more alpha, you know? Yeah, main stars. Okay, Khalil, I'm gonna need you to shut up, okay? Shut your trap. All right, so instead of going into build mode, because I technically can't because this is the champion's house, I'm just going to go ahead and take one of these cars off the street. So basically, all you have to do is, like I said, you just go into build mode, you get the car, and once you get the car, you place it down, and then you just left click, you shift click, and you left click your mouse, tool mod, toggle active, uh, bills have been delivered, okay, whatever. And, you know, you want the cars to be kind of close together because it can be, I mean, it could be, it could be far apart. But you don't want them to be like right on it because that's what happens if you click right here. It's going to be stuck with each other. Angel lost her oral virginity. And Lloyd, wow. And Lloyd. I'm glad that y'all marriage is actually working out. That's really great. So yeah, you just kind of have to like play around with it. And soon you'll kind of get the gist. You see like even me, I'm still acting like, okay, there we go. So this is a good parked car right here. So, you know, you just got to play around with it. You got to play around with the tool. If you want to elevate the object, you can go ahead and elevate it. I've, I really don't want to do this, but... Yeah, I, I you, you just type in the elevation that you want. You can type in five, anything between negative 25 and 25, and the thing will be floating up in the air, but I'm not gonna actually show y'all, but yeah, <laughs> y'all get the gist. And that's, that's that. I mean, get you some trees, get you these freaking trees, um, get you the default replacement trees. I will be linking that in the description as well for the default replacements for palm trees and for the other trees. Um, 
the cars Lori Sims is a good one see right there boom we got this Ford Explorer from Lori Sims it's a few other people that make cars as well I'm really happy that I'm back and I will be hopefully bringing y'all a let's play pretty soon I should be able to now because my game is actually running pretty smooth after I freaking pulled my entire scalp off because the stupid thing kept crashing at first but it's okay I figured out what was wrong what the freak why is she naked okay I hope that y'all like my world as well and I'm gonna be building some stuff I'm gonna be getting out and filling up my own stuff in the world as well so make sure that y'all like, comment, and subscribe to join the channel. I won't be gone for another week. I really won't. I'm so sorry, y'all. But anyway, love y'all. Bye.